Hey there, long time no see. So today it's gonna be kind of something different. Um, I am working on setting up my online shop and just doing some kind of like quality of life changes. There's my cat Kumo. My online shop has been in the works for quite a while now. And I have my square site already um, to go and everything. It's just a matter of figuring out how I wanna do shipping. Um, Especially with being a print artist, I am horrified of the thought of my prints or clients' prints um, getting bent in the mail. So, um, yeah, kind of come with me with this fun little journey as I figure out how I am going to go about all of this. In the meantime, however, I actually recently went to Anime Central over in Chicago. Um, and I got a few things at a store called Kinokuniya. It's kind of like a Japanese Barnes and Noble and they had a lot of really fun stationery there. And I got some things while I was there. So the bulk of what I spent my money on was actually washi tape because I wanna make my packaging look nice for you guys once I do start shipping out some stuff. Um, so I got four different washi tapes. This one is just a little flower like Lily of the Valley and I'll insert some swatches of what they look like as b-roll. Um, got some little sunflowers, and then some Whisper of the Heart uh, Studio Ghibli washi tape. So yeah, that's, that's fun and cute. I also got another water reservoir brush, and this is a nice, really, really big one. The ones I have currently are about the same in size, however, they um, are a bit fatter and not as long. But um, I wanted to try out this one because sometimes when um, I squeeze this, it just poops out too much water. So I was hoping maybe this one uh, would work better, but we'll see. And if, it, if, if not, that's okay too. I also got this giant mono eraser. Um, mono is like my beloved. I absolutely love their erasers. They erase so, so good. And if you don't know, normally their erasers are this size. This is also a mono eraser. It just doesn't have the hard case on it. Um, so yeah, quite the quite the size difference. And then I also got these memo pads to write um, thank you notes on for orders once I get them. So yeah, in this video, um, I plan on kind of finalizing and adding a couple more items that are new to the online store and um, going out to like a paper sourcing uh, shop um, to get some tissue paper to wrap some things in and maybe some cardboard to make my own rigid mailers because if you don't know man rigid mailers are expensive <laughs> like it's insane um, so yeah I'm planning on getting some cardboard or like chipboard to kind of origami my own box or mailer sort of thing and I've kind of done that before so Hopefully all goes well. And then, yeah, I'm also just going to be doing some quality of improvements kind of to my little studio. So if you don't know, I am currently um, a student uh, with a part-time job and then also trying to make this my full-time gig, just being an artist, doing artist alleys, having an online store. Um, and I do have a part-time job, like I said, and it, it pays really good for the little amount of time I work. But that being said, since I do work part-time, um, me and my boyfriend, we found a really, really nice apartment. It's not super big, but um, in a really good area right next to my school and um, for a decent price too. But that being said, it is definitely pretty small. It's like maybe 500 square feet, one bedroom apartment. Um, and the bedroom gets pretty cramped once there's a bed in here. So if you didn't know, this little area is the bedroom and this is also my studio at the same time. So what I mainly wanna work on is kind of improving my little shelf area where I have my label printer and just kind of shipping supplies to make it a lot easier. So I'm planning on getting like um, a command strip towel holder um, so I can put it to the wall and hopefully it will hold like the tissue paper I'm gonna get and the washi tape and the label printers. And even if it only fits the label printing paper and the washi tape, that's fine too. I just wanna make it a lot more effective and uh, easy to just kind of have everything in one location so I don't make a mess because I know myself and I will kind of leave things after I'm done using them and then it becomes overwhelming.
All right, so this is how the system's gonna work. Um, so this is tissue paper and this is wax paper. I'm gonna be using the wax paper to put by the prints to protect them in the sleeves and then wrapping everything if they get um, more than just prints um, in this tissue paper right here and then sealing it off with the washi tape. So basically, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You just pull whatever you need like that and then cut it um, and then same goes for the tape and then all my supplies are gonna be right here so put in a business card rip a little memo grab a pen marker whatever print off their label etc
Alrighty, so here's one of the mailers I made. And then here's a print I've already pre-packaged. Oh, sorry about the glare. And is ready to be sacrificed. Um, put some cardboard on the back there. Obviously with a real order, the cardboard would be fully um, the same size as the print. And then, yeah, I think what I might do is I'm gonna be putting the wax paper with the print in the sleeve. And then if they also get buttons or mini prints, they'll go in their designated packaging. Like for the mini prints, I have smaller sleeves and then the buttons, I have like these little goodie bags and then wrap that all in that blue tissue paper you saw. Anyway, here we go. Moment of truth, you guys. And there she goes, she fits in there. It's definitely a bit snug. Um, my sleeves I have currently are 12 by 18, so it's gonna get a little ruffled, but the print itself looks fine in there. Um, I've been meaning to order the actual sizes I need. I just couldn't find any when I initially looked. And then obviously that's gonna get sealed over um, with some tape and gonna put like that little thank you stamp along with the label and probably write do not bend everywhere so and here's my helper <laughs> but yeah um, I'm really excited how this is going and the only concern I'd have is like if it's raining obviously this isn't waterproof but like boxes in general aren't waterproof so it's not a super big concern for me and then that's why I packed the prints in that sleeve and then also in um, the wax paper to extra protect it on the inside. So, yeah. All right, so gonna try and kind of plan out how I wanna drop the announcement of my shop. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is um, kind of have like a little giveaway to celebrate. This will probably help promote um, the opening of the shop a lot and then just, yeah, get my name out there mainly. I was also thinking about having this help me kind of reach 1K finally over on Instagram because only just recently since I've started doing Artist Alley and stuff had like my account was probably stagnant at like 800 followers for like years, like it was dead. Um, but I'm hoping it'll help me get to a thousand. That'd be lovely. I don't know if I'm gonna make like the giveaway, like choose your favorite print um, or button. Uh, I guess we'll just, we'll see where that's gonna go. It's probably gonna be USA only because I don't wanna deal with um, international stuff for when I'm, especially when I'm just starting to um, what do you call it? Get into kind of shipping and like figuring out the logistics of that. I think with this, I might make it kind of a bundle. So one 11 by 17, one six by nine print, and then one, or let's do three buttons of their choosing. Um, hmm. Also, I'm so sorry, this is so scatterbrained. This is just me kind of word vomiting out how I'm gonna structure this. Gotta make the, oh no, materials slash images. You guys like my little do not want to do list? It's cute. I think this is a pretty good starting out list. Um, I'd imagine it'll probably be easier for me to start with the promo images since I'm such a visual person, um, and then format them for all the social media. Um, so Instagram, 
Ah, this pen is dying. Twitter. And then probably TikTok. And then obviously this YouTube video is a form of promotion. So, and I think too, obviously at the end of the video, I'll probably talk more about it in depth if it does pan out that way. But like, by the time, I'm hoping by the time this video goes up, I'm hoping everything will go well and that my, it'll kind of coincide with the, the opening of my shop. So it can kind of just be like a wha-bam sort of thing. Um, yeah. So we're gonna start with this and then kind of go from there. All right, so this is what I've got for the designs. Um, I'm sure you saw me working on them, of course, but I know that time lapse goes by pretty quick. Um, so this is gonna be for Instagram. It's gonna be like how you can post multiple photos that you can scroll through. So this is gonna be the opening, like title card, I guess. Um, and then the rewards is gonna be next. And then the rules page is going to be the final page. I'm certainly not a graphic designer whatsoever. The rewards page definitely could have came out a lot prettier, but I, I think it gets the point across pretty well. Um, there are going to be more details in the caption, and I'm going to write that up shortly. Um, I'm probably not going to record that because that's just kind of boring. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'll include that in... Um, Instagram and Twitter post that caption along with the TikTok one, but um, I do have to make different visuals for TikTok because um, I don't, I know me personally when it's just those swipey images, it's not really like, oh my god, but I also might be lazy and just end up doing that or reformatting it to fit a TikTok screen or the, the phone screen, but we'll see. Like I said, I might be lazy. Um, it is currently 9.30 and I'm an old lady and I'm starting to get tired, so I'm probably gonna call it for today. Um, but yeah, I'll check back in tomorrow. Right now, I'm currently working on making backing boards for my mini prints. Um, and so that they fit in there pretty snug. Mm, yeah. These are just leftovers from what I made the, the mailers with, so I'm utilizing everything pretty, pretty well. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna make the same size of all of these out of these, um, and then put them on the shelf. Honestly, too, I've been thinking about maybe doing Etsy simultaneously along with um, the online shop, like just my normal basic one. Etsy is obviously, as it's gotten bigger, it's definitely become a lot more corporate and like the charges are insane, but the benefit to Etsy is that it's a basically a search engine and anybody can find you and, and they're all looking for artisan codes. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna do Etsy and upcharge some things um, just so it can cover all the Etsy fees that they take. So I'm thinking like if I do end up doing prints over on Etsy, which I might just do like my buttons and little knickknack items, but we'll see. But for example, if I were to do my 11 by 17s, I instead of charging 25, I'd charge like 30. And then maybe with the buttons, I'd charge like, I don't know, $7 instead of five or something like that. I think that could like be warranted uh, with like the art prints, especially because I've just seen them go for 30. But the biggest thing is just like the little items, like 
Dude, seven dollars for a button, that's kind of crazy. So maybe I'll just like take a loss on the little stuff and then with my more higher priced stuff, just make sure to price them higher. I don't know, I'm still kind of obviously in the brainstorming phases and like who knows if I'm even gonna do that in the first place, but I do think the benefits of maybe doing an Etsy alongside that and then too, I can also promote on the Etsy hey, my normal website has cheaper prices, so go over there. And then it's just kind of like a feedback loop of getting people to just know you and check out your work sort of thing, if that makes sense. But I don't know, I'm just rambling. And I actually do have an Etsy, I just only have like one listing up and it's just the Procreate brush that I made. I've had a couple people buy it, but I think it's only like $2, so obviously it's not super lucrative. But I have been thinking about maybe making more brushes and just putting them on because obviously digital downloads are a lot easier than physically shipping out things. But at the same time, most people when they go on Etsy probably want a physical good. just got this package in the mail for some more supplies to use. So the first one's real simple. I got some hangers for Artist Alley. Um, hopefully these will just hold on to my prints a lot easier and they're also just a lot more um, reliable, I guess? Cohesive? I don't know. But yeah, they, they definitely hold a lot harder than the little binder clips I'm using right now. So that's gonna go, I'll put in a picture here. Um, to hang up my prints on my artist alley display and then i've got these so these grid cubes are really really common for artist alley i'm not gonna completely turn into like a grid cube artist i still really really enjoy my setup but this is to fix my button display um if you don't know, my button display currently is kind of really breaking, um, and it's also really clunky, and if I want to start flying out for conventions, I should probably find a way to make it smaller and more compact. So I have an idea to make it more compact, however I need like a triangle in order to do the idea and a lot of the companies that make the triangle grid cubes are mostly out of stock so i'm gonna try and kind of uh make my own um and we'll see how that goes Also, sorry about the camera being wobbly, it's because my desk is on carpet, but hopefully it's not that noticeable. 
Okay. So this is what we're working with. Um, so essentially what I want to do is kind of make it angled. Um, so obviously you're supposed to build them as a cube, right? Um, and for this, I'm thinking I'm going to take my own wire um, and then just cut this in half maybe along this seam here, so, and then, yeah, just kind of make my own triangle, but we'll, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. If not, I'm sure I can figure out a way to make an angle without, um, doing it that way. It's just doing it that way would be a lot more convenient. I've been thinking about whether it's a better idea to fasten the display for the buttons with magnets or velcro strips, and I think velcro strips would probably be the, the better option. I just don't want to risk anything going off. Um, like if I do bring these, like if a sensor, if the magnets fucks with it or something. So I'm gonna go out and get some velcro really quick and then make the design. Um, and then get it printed out and hopefully I'll get it in a couple days. I almost completely forgot that I got these like stickers to put in with orders. Um, I'm probably just gonna do my logo and like thank you or link my card or something. But yeah, um, I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to print these. Okay, you can just barely see it but I've got it loaded in. And this is the really simple design I just came up with, so... Moment of truth... Oh! Oh my goodness! Okay, okay, wait, 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 Okay, okay. Ah! Oh my god. Okay, I got it. Look at it! Oh my goodness! That's so cute! I'm gonna print like a bajillion of these, hold on. Okay, we're gonna do like, like 20. I might have to hold it for the printer really quick, so I need to find a spot to, to put you guys on. Hold on. <laughs> okay, you're currently on Majima's leg. Uh -huh. Look at it go, oh my god! Oh my god! This is so cool! <laughs> Look at that! Oh my god, that's like instant serotonin. <laughs> Bro, that's so cool. Okay, so there wasn't enough room, but we're just gonna keep it right there. Ah, I can't get over how cool that is. I, I don't know, just printer printer cool. I sound completely awful because I managed to catch like a cold and I have a really bad cough right now, but I'm still trudging through. Um, I did in the meantime while I was sick and was just thinking things over, decided that I'm just gonna do an Etsy because I think that'll just be more convenient and easier for me, especially with starting out um, and being a smaller artist a lot of people will be able to find me a lot easier because of their SEO uh, functions and whatnot. And I don't mind, I know the fees are super high with Etsy, but like, I feel like I'd rather pay those extra fees and have Etsy kind of take care of me than me just kind of being out there all by myself having to worry about everything. 
but um, yeah, so I've been kind of cooking up some stuff, putting my prints and buttons on there. I just ordered um, some mailers because um, I don't know how confident the mailers I made will be, but I can always use uh, those mailers cardboard for backings and stuff. So it's not like a waste of money. Um, and yeah, I noticed too with a lot of those mailers, um, even though I tried my best, a lot of them um, weren't like the perfect dimensions of that makes sense and like when I tried to fold it over on top of the print um, it wouldn't fit most of the time but then that's just human error so I caved and bought some reasonably priced um, 13 by 18 mailers on Amazon uh, and then I also ordered uh, some rigid mailers that will fit uh, my mini prints too but yeah so I'm just gonna I've just been kind of working on this all day. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to eventually get my entire inventory on there, but I think I'm just going to start out with prints, mini prints, and buttons. Um, I don't know. I think what I'm going to do for maybe my stuff that doesn't sell as well is just kind of put like a discount listing for people to just kind of choose from. Um, but yeah. I know, like, it, this is pretty late into the video for me to be changing, and my mind was such a big thing, but I do really think um, going this route will just be a lot easier for me in the long run. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to my school and pick up um, my prints for those grid cubes I got, um, and then I... I'm gonna go pick up some foam core from a craft store. So, yeah. All right, so here's the little, seriously cat, oh my God. <laughs> here's the uh, print that I printed. It's to separate the buttons. Um, so I'm gonna cut these really quick and then put them on some foam core or some cardboard. Um, and then find a way to put them on the cube organizers.
Okay, sorry about the lawnmower in the background, but I found a way to set this up really well and I think it works and it's pretty sturdy. So I was sitting here for a while being like, how do I make this like stick? And then I remembered in my old button display, I used these really, really strong magnets. So I decided to reuse those and they're strong enough to just hold up um, the bar up there. Um, and then, yeah, so I'm gonna keep this like this and then I can put my little button sign right here along with the price. And then obviously my portfolio book will be right there. Um, and it's like the perfect size and it's completely compactable. Um, I put Velcro on the back of these, so these are removable. Um, and then obviously these are really easy to take off. And you can tell it like becomes a lot more unstable once those are off. So yeah, it's normally like super bendy, but with those magnets, it's, it, it's still basically. Yeah, and then with the back, you can see all the Velcro strips where I put them. Um, and it's really secure. Like it, you can't just, somebody wouldn't be able to just take this without a decent amount of effort going into that. So I'm really pleased with how this turned out. Okay, I was also goofing around with this and I haven't decided if this is gonna be a thing where my pins are gonna be above the buttons like this. Um, uh, it's like the most ghetto setup right now. Um, there's an, a butter knife holding the magnets up. Um, I guess I could get another butter knife to make it more centered. Hold on, let me do that. Okay, there are now officially two butter knives holding it up. The only thing is, is I'm afraid of the stability until it's kind of leaning back a little. Um, I think it should be fine. Like it doesn't seem like it'd be that much of an issue, but like I'm for sure gonna have this bottom part down be the display. This is only for like, if I have probably like a six foot table and most of the times recently when I've had a six foot table, I have to not even have my keychains or pins there. It's just before I had my pins with the buttons on my old button display. So I'm trying to figure out a way where I can have them both together. And I think I'd probably have to do it this way. And that makes the most sense in my brain, but yeah. All right, so we're nearing the end of the video. Um, I'm here to announce that this giveaway I'm planning on doing is going to be posted up on the 7th of June. Um, all the details and stuff will be included on my Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok if you're interested in entering. Essentially, the rewards are going to be one 11 by 17 print, one 6 by 9 print, and three buttons of your choice. Um, there's going to be a list of rules that you have to follow, like you got to be following me on whatever social media likes and shares and reposts aren't required, but they're appreciated. Um, and then in order to actually enter into the giveaway, you have to comment like what 11 by 17 print you want, what six by nine print you want and the three buttons you want. So for like, for example, I wrote, maybe this person in this scenario had wants one 11 by 17 Ryuk print, one six by nine Pikmin print, and then the buttons they want Sonic, Kazuya, and Ai Ai. Um, yeah, and it's gonna be USA only, so I'm really sorry. I know a number of like my friends and stuff are overseas, but like I haven't even touched international shipping yet and it kind of horrifies me, <laughs> but I'm sure I'll get down to that eventually and then I can do international giveaways um, in the future or yeah. My Etsy, however, it does accept international orders. It's just when I'm doing this giveaway, I'm not doing it through Etsy. I'm making my own labels and sending them out. So I just don't want to risk anything funny there. Yeah, the giveaway is gonna close on the 13th of June. 
and then I'll pull the w winner that following Friday on the 14th um, at 1 p.m. CST. And if whatever person doesn't reply in time and then gives me their information, I'll just draw a new winner too. Um, you can do multiple entries if you enter on my different social medias. So if you were to go over to Twitter, you can also go over to my Instagram and enter there along with my TikTok if you want three um, entries along with my TikTok if you want three entries. But yeah, so um, this video should go up before the 7th. So look out um, for my socials on the 7th of June. That's gonna go live on TikTok, on Instagram and on Twitter um, at one o'clock. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much and for watching this video. And I'm sorry it was so scatterbrained, but like help me recording helps me focus a lot more on what I need to get done because then I hold myself responsible to making a video out of it. Um, and I plan on hopefully posting um, more stuff on my YouTube soon. Um, I want to get around to doing more conventions as well, but a lot of it, but there have been some kind of like inconvenient issues when it comes to that, just because um, I need to get my sales tax with my business figured out before I can actually go out of state um, to different conventions. But I do have a tax person helping me out now. Um, so hopefully the ball gets ro rolling and next con season I'll be around at more conventions. But I'll update how that goes on my Instagram and Twitter most likely. So make sure to follow me over there and just stay tuned and follow me in general because a lot of exciting and fun stuff are going to be happening. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.